Hey guys, and welcome to another installation video brought to you by Rockford Fosgate and the Rockford Technical Training Institute. In this video, we're going to go and take a look at our new rear bag lid audio system for the Harley Davidson motorcycles. So let's step inside and see how this goes in. All right guys, I am now joined by Brad with our new product development team, and he's gonna help walk us through the installation of our all new bag lid speaker system for the Harley Davidson motorcycles. So Brad, tell me a little bit about what comes in the kit. Okay, so in our kit, we include a pair of six by nines, wiring harness, our adapters and grills, along with a cutting guide. And what would you say gives us an advantage over some of the other systems that are out there? So the thing that makes us really different than most is the fact that you use your stock lid. That way you don't have to go buy lids, have them color matched, and hopefully they do match, and you know go through all that expense when it's not necessary. Okay, well it sounds pretty easy and straightforward to do. So what do we have to do to get started to get these installed? The first thing we need to do is get our wiring harness installed, so we'll have to take the bike apart from front to back to lay that in. Okay, now of course, if you guys have seen some of our other videos, we have much more detailed instructions on step-by-step -step guides as far as how we're gonna take the bike apart. For the purpose of this video, we recommend you go watch that. We're gonna go ahead and take the bike apart in kind of a montage segment, so we'll see you on the other side when we bring it back. All right, so now that we have the bike disassembled, we're ready to go ahead and start the process of running our rear speaker wiring. Now, this particular motorcycle comes to us with a, our front Harley audio kit already installed. So it has the two six and a half inch speakers as well as our four channel amp. The harness itself is designed to plug into the rear output of that amplifier. So Brad, is there anything special we need to know or routing things that we need to do to get the wire harness in? Well, we're going to route it just like we did our power wire, and if you've already run your rear speaker wires before and just in hopes that you may do something later, it's going to go the same way. We're going to run it straight down through the backbone, underneath the stock wire cover, and get it to the underseat area. Okay. And as a note, as Brad mentioned, if you have ran the rear speaker wire that came with the amplifier kit previously, this does take the place of that wire harness. So unfortunately, you will need to go ahead and remove it out of the bike to replace it with this particular one. All right guys, now that we've got the wire ran, we're ready to move on to the next step, which is what part? We're gonna go ahead and stick our cover back on the wire, just to kind of keep it nice and tight while we work on other areas, and make sure you take note to the left and right or clutch and brake side. Once we get that on, we're gonna move our bags and then move on to the bag lids so we can prepare for our cutting. All right guys, so now that we have the wire ran and the wire chase cover reinstalled, we're ready to move on to prepping the bag lid so we can modify it to put the speaker in. Now as you can see, we have an unpainted factory lid on this bag assembly and we're only using that for video clarity. Normally, when you're doing your install, this would be your lid that would probably already be painted to match your vehicle. So Brad, getting this prepped, what is the next step? The next thing we're going to do is remove the four screws on the hinge assembly to remove the lid from the bag itself. That way it'll give us room to maneuver our saw when we go to cut. All right, well, let's see that done.
All right, so now that we have our bag lid separated from the bag assembly, there's a couple other pieces of hardware that you need to go ahead and remove to be able to put the template on the top of the bag lid. Those pieces are, of course, the release handle, as well as the hinge cover assembly. Now you do not need to remove any of the additional hardware found inside the bag lid to be able to mount the template to the bag lid itself. So Brad, what is the next step in the process? So at this point, we're ready to go ahead and mask our uh, bag lid up to protect it. So we're gonna use some two inch masking tape, put it on, probably two layers thick just to protect it so you don't scratch it because obviously yours are gonna be painted. And once we have that done, we'll take our template, you can slide it over. It does have a tab in the front to line up, press it tight, and then we will pre-drill two holes for the included screws to help hold the template in place. And once we get there, we'll be ready to cut. All right, well, let's get to that point. Once you have the template mounted to the top of the bag lid, using a 3 8 drill bit, drill the holes as indicated. Then using a jigsaw, follow the guidelines and connect the holes. After that's done, you can cut through the connecting tabs that hold the inner and outer template together, which will separate and you're ready to move on to the next step. All right, so with our bag lid cut, we're ready to go ahead and continue the assembly process. Now, as you can see, we have transitioned over to our finished painted bag lid, which is what we're gonna use from this point on to finish the installation. And that being said, Brett, what is the next step? At this point, we're ready to mount our inner and outer adapter pieces. Now you'll stick the bigger part on the inside and the grill to the outside using the four screws we included to fasten it to the lid itself. So on a side note, before you install your adapter bracket for the new 6x9, make sure you reinstall all the factory pieces that you took off before cutting. This would include our hinge plate and our release lever. Now that we have our lid completely back together, we're ready to mount our 6x9. Take note that there is a guide pin hole in the 6x9 that'll go to a pin on the adapter plate itself. That will keep the speaker orientated properly for the wires to be mounted on the speaker. Once we get that together, we can move on to running our wires down to the bag area and then drilling the hole in the bag itself to receive the wires. Once we get that done, we can put the lid back on and get it back on the bike.
All right guys, so now that the wire is routed on the bike, we're ready to move over to the bag assembly and drill the hole to pass the wire and grommet through. Now to do this, we recommend prevent any damage to your paint finish, obviously masking it off with some painter's tape, and then marking the hole location. Now the hole location is gonna be located four and three quarter inches up from the bottom of the bag. And once that mark is made, you're gonna measure three and one eighth inches from the front of the bag, creating an intersection. That's the point that you're going to be drilling a three quarter inch hole through the side of the bag. Once we get that done, when we go to put the bag on the bike, you'll be able to route the wire through the hole, pulling on it to let the grommet seat into the bag. All right, so now that we have the bags reinstalled on the bike and the wires ran, we're ready to go ahead and move on to the next step. Brad, what's that gonna be? So we're gonna go ahead and get our lids on. Once those are on, we need to route our wire from the speaker down to the wire that you've already put in the bag. Now we've included some mounts for zip ties that you'll be able to stick along the wall of the bag itself. Once we get all that done and the wiring connected, we can go ahead and test the system and adjust the amplifier. All right, well, let's get to it. All right, so now that we've connected the speakers and tested the system, make sure everything's working properly, we're ready to go ahead and tune the amplifier for our new speakers. All right, the first setting on the amplifier is a two-channel and four-channel switch. We're going to keep the switch in its default two-channel position. Next are the frequency controls. These control the crossover frequency for both the front and rear output of the amplifier. We're gonna adjust both of those controls to approximately 80 hertz. This will ensure the proper mid-range and more importantly, that mid-bass output gets to the speakers. The two switches in the bottom row are for the crossovers themselves. We're gonna position both of those in the high pass position to ensure that the low, low bass frequencies prevent going to the speakers, damaging the speakers themselves. We're going to leave the EQ controls at their low settings and the gain controls we are going to adjust until they are at approximately the two o'clock position where the line is in alignment with the in in mid. Now based on our experience with this motorcycle and the output of the radio as well as the performance of the speakers We've determined that this is typically the best position for best performance. All right, guys, so now that we've got the amplifier tuned, we're pretty much ready to go ahead and get the thing back together, get it back out on the road. All right, guys, well, that pretty much wraps up this install. As you can see, pretty straightforward and easy to do. And Brad, before we get out of here, is there anything you'd like to add? Well, as always, if you have any questions before, during, or after your install, give us a call. We'll be more than happy to help you out. And as always, don't forget, check out our other installation videos on YouTube, as well as our website for more information on the products that we manufacture. 
Well, thanks for joining us. I'll see you again in another video.